Last year, Blackpool was hit by a couple of earthquakes. They were small, and geologists will tell you that tremors of this size happen more than you might think. But these were different. They weren't natural phenomena. Whilst trying to extract methane gas from beneath the Earth's surface in a, technique no, in a technique known as fracking, engineers had triggered a seismic response. Drilling was called to a halt, but any day now, the government is expected to give the go-ahead once more. Newsnight science editor Susan Watts reports. Standing here at Blackpool Beach, it's hard to imagine that just a couple of miles from here, there's an industrial project underway that could completely change the energy landscape of Britain. But for local people, it's raised concerns about the impact of fracking here on the Lancashire coast. We don't know what's going to happen with it in the future. And some countries just won't accept it at all. So why should we? Fracking, short for hydraulic fracturing, is a way to extract natural methane gas trapped inside layers of densely packed shale rock a mile or so underground. Engineers drill down, line the well with metal and cement casings, then use controlled explosions to open up fractures in the rock. They pump down millions of gallons of water at high pressure, along with sand and chemicals, to prop open the fractures so the gas can escape. Hi, my name is Mark Miller. I'm the CEO of Quadrilla Resources. And we're standing today in front of a drill rig that's drilling a new exploration well to 9,000 feet near Blackpool. The main players in UK shale gas exploration, Quadrilla Resources, are trying to make the case for fracking. They want to reassure people they're a responsible company. We can assure people that some of the concerns that you have regarding oil and gas drilling will not happen on, on our watch and, and will not happen with wells we drill in this area. Estimates vary on how much gas it might be possible to extract. The British Geological Survey reckons on the equivalent of some 18 months of UK gas needs. Quadrilla has said there could be as much as 200 trillion cubic feet of gas available in Lancashire alone. Billions of pounds worth. There's a lot at stake but a Newsnight investigation has discovered worrying signs that regulation is not keeping pace with the industry. Yeah, pretty good right there. In America, shale gas has already brought down gas prices. Opposition has been fierce. Whoa. Videos of flaming taps have bounced around the internet as methane gas escapes into drinking water. What we're standing in front of now is one of the pads that Quadrilla have, uh, have set up. Set up Mike Hill is there. a former oil and gas engineer and a technical advisor to Filed Borough Council. He's not against fracking, but wants to ensure it's done properly. Take the fluids left over after fracking's taken place, for example. This becomes radioactive as it passes through naturally radioactive rock, only at a low level, but above that permitted by the Environment Agency. We're talking potentially hundreds of thousands of gallons of flowback water coming up the well that needs to be disposed of at between 10 and 90 times the permissible radioactive limit. The Environment Agency is just one of the regulators that oversee this industry. The Health and Safety Executive is another. So how close an eye are they keeping on it all? When I ask them, OK, how many times have you come down? How many times have you inspected? When Cordrillas say they're doing X, Y, Z... How many times have you actually checked they are doing X, Y, Z? And the answer, none. Not once in two years has the HSE visited any of the wells in Lancashire to test, inspect or verify for themselves. Christine Dickinson runs a caravan site close to where Quadrilla might drill and just down the road from the local bird sanctuary. The concerns are that it will spoil everything for the wildlife. We are lying here on a um, geological fault line and it could set off earth tremors like it's done in Blackpool. We don't want to take that risk. The Environment Agency told us the flowback tanks are regularly inspected and that Quadrilla will need a permit to dispose of its flowback fluids. They said, we have the regulatory framework to protect the environment during exploratory shale gas projects, but this would have to be reviewed if ever there was a move to full-scale operational mode. The HSE said they had visited in March 2011 and had five face-to-face -face meetings with Quadrilla. For the government, a new supply of natural gas poses a dilemma. In the long term, it pushes visions of a carbon-free energy supply further into the future. But for now, if it can be done safely, it could ease fuel poverty and give a boost to the economy, a promise that may prove just too tempting to resist.
Susan Watts. Quadrilla was asked for an interview to talk about their practices, regulation and local concerns. They declined, but in response to questions, they said Quadrilla believes that the tough and comprehensive regulatory regime that's now in place will ensure that the UK can benefit from shale gas safely and securely. And you can see Susan Watts' full report on Newsnight tonight at 10.30 on BBC Two.